after a night of chaos caused by his handling of a vote on a ceasefire in Gaza, the speaker back in the chair. I regret it. I apologise to the SNP. And fighting to stay there after dozens of MPs called on Sir Lindsay Hoyle to quit. I apologise and I apologise to the House. I made a mistake. We do make mistakes. I am up to mine. His was to break decades of parliamentary precedent to allow all three main parties to put their position on a ceasefire to a vote. The effect was to let Labour avoid a massive rebellion, but the Speaker clear his motive was all about like MP safety. Job. Security of all me members really matters. It is taken very seriously in this House. It is ongoing. I'm having serious conversations about what we do going forward. Support from government giving him some breathing space as the leader of the Commons turned her fire on Labour. I would ask all honourable members not to do this House a further disservice by suggesting that the shameful events that took place yesterday were anything other than party politics. But the SNP irreconcilable, saying Hoyle has to go. Lindsay Hoyle no longer retains the confidence of SNP MPs to continue in his role. I have massive, even bigger concerns about the fact that Sir Keir Starmer met with Lindsay Hoyle prior and privately to that decision being made. The Labour leader adamant there wasn't a stitch up with the Speaker to avoid a rebellion on his own benches. I can categorically tell you that I did not threaten the Speaker in any way whatsoever. I simply urged him to ensure that we have the broadest possible debate. But the PM adamant that allowing concerns over MP safety to influence business in the Commons not acceptable. I think the important point here is that we should never let extremists intimidate us into changing the way in which Parliament works. But back in Parliament, many are increasingly concerned about the welfare of MPs. How serious is the issue of MP safety? So I sit on the House of Commons Commission and I speak to the same security professionals as the Speaker does. I was answering questions in the chamber today on behalf of the Commission around Member of Parliament security. Mr Speaker, he's obsessed with making sure colleagues are kept safe. This, the week, Parliament finally backed an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. But this significant moment drowned out by the spectacle of wrangling and rows that brings no credit to this place or its politicians.